Hello, I'm back. Second Corinthians 9. For it is superfluous for me to write to you about this ministry to the saints. For I know your readiness for which I boast about you to the Macedonians, namely that Archea has been prepared since last year, and your zeal has stirred up most of them. But I have sensed the brethren that our boasting about you may not be made empty in this case. That I, that I, as, sorry, as I was saying, that I, as I was saying, you may be prepared. Lest if any Macedonians come with me, and find you unprepared, we do not speak of you, should be put to shame by this confidence, so that I thought it necessary to urge the brethren that they would go on ahead to you and arrange beforehand your previously promised bountiful gift, that the same might be ready as a bountiful gift, and not affected by covetousness. covetousness. Now this I say, he who sows sparingly shall also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully shall also reap bountifully. Oh, all the spirit just there. I'm going to read that again. Now this I say, he who sows sparingly shall also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully shall also reap bountifully. Let each one do just as he has purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound to you in always having all sufficiency in everything. You may have an abundance for every good deed, as it is written. He scattered abroad, he gave to the poor, his righteousness abides forever. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in everything for all liberality which through us is producing thanksgiving to God for the ministry of this service is not only fully supplying the needs of the saints but is also overflowing through many thanksgivings to God because of the proof given by this ministry, they will glorify God for your obedience to your confession of the gospel of Christ and for the liberality of your contribution to them and to all, while they also by prayer on your behalf yearn for you because of the surpassing grace of God is in you. Thanks be to God for his indes indescribable gift. Chapter 10. And this is going to be the last one for now. Then I'm going to have a rest. Now I, Paul, myself urge you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ. I who am meek when face to face with you but bold toward you when absent. I ask that 
when I am present, I may not be bold with uh, with the confidence with which I pr propose to be courageous against some who regard us as if we walked according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our wealth warfare are not for the flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. We are destroying speculations and every lofty thing rised up against the knowledge of God. And we are taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. And we are ready to punish all disobedience whenever your obedience is complete. You are looking at things as they are outwardly if any one is confident in himself that he is in crap if any one is confident in himself that he is christ's let him consider this again within himself that just as he is Christ's so also are we for even if I should boast somewhat further about our authority which the Lord gave for building you up and not for destroying you I shall not be put to shame for I do not wish to seem as if I would terrify you by my letters for they say his letters are weighty and strong but his personal presence is unimpressive and his speech con contem contemptible let such a person consider this that what we are in word by letters when absent such persons we are also indeed when present for we are not bold to class or compare ourselves with some of those who com commend ourselves well, to commend themselves sorry but when they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves they are without understanding but we will not boast beyond our measure but within the measure of the sphere sphere which god appointed to us as a measure to reach even as far as you for we are not over extending extending ourselves as if we did not reach to you for we were the first to come even as far as you in the gospel of christ not boasting beyond our measure that is in other men's labors but with the hope that as your faith grows we shall be within our sphere enlarged even more by you so as to preach the gospel even to the regions beyond you and not to boast in what has been accomplished in the sphere of another but he who boasts let him boast in the lord for not what he sorry for not he who commends himself is approved, but whom the Lord commends. I'm Northern Hero. Watch my videos on a regular basis. The Blessed Channel on YouTube. Reading the Bible certainly uplifts us. 
and it gives us energy I believe it's the living word of God my friends pray for me and um, I'm coming back stronger God bless, bye.